So in question 3 part B, find plain polynomial product of 25, which is a hexadecimal number, and 28. According to the equation Ax times Bx is equals to Cx, where Ax is 25. We'll change hexadecimal into binary number system, where the binary of 25 hexadecimal is 100101. When we change this binary number system into a polynomial, we'll product the one, this one times one, zero times x, one times x squared, zero times x cubed, then zero times x to the power four, and one time x to the power five. So the ax in the polynomial form is x to the power five plus x to the power two plus one. Same way, we convert bx28, which is hexadecimal, into binary number system, which is 101000. And we can, when we convert this binary number into a polynomial, the bx is x to the power 5 plus x cubed. So now let's calculate Ax times Bx, which is x to the power 5 plus x squared plus 1 times x to the power 5 plus x to the power 3. So after the multiplication of these two polynomials, Cx will be x to the power 10 plus x to the power 8 plus x to the power 7 plus 2x to the power 5 plus x to the power 3. You have to know here that this coefficient 2. So the coefficient is only 0 and 1. And for coefficient 2, we will find 2 mod, we'll find 2 mod 2, and 2 mod 2 is 0. So now the polynomial is x to the power 10 plus x to the power 8 plus x to the power 7 plus x to the power 3. Let's change this polynomial into the binary number. Change this polynomial into binary number. For Generating a binary number from this polynomial, let's create a table from x to the power 10 all the way to x to the power 0. So the coefficient for x to the power 0 is 0 in this polynomial. Coefficient for x to the power 1 is again 0. Coefficient for x to the power 2 is 0. Coefficient for x to the power 3 is 1. Coefficient for x to the power 4 is 0. Likewise, So let's change this binary number into a hexadecimal number. Cx is equal to 588 8 hex. Answer.